Hello Apple Valley High School, Assistant Principal Pete Biskins here and we're going to talk about our registration process which is coming up for you soon in January. To begin with, the key number that you have to remember is 66. That is the number of credits you need to earn on your way to graduation. Later on in this video you'll hear about our core class opportunities and you'll hear about our elective opportunities. One thing to keep in mind on your road to 66 is you want to earn 50 credits in your core and 16 more somewhere in your electives. As you're looking at registration, we are hopeful that you will consider classes that you are interested, but also classes that keep you on that path towards graduation, as that is our ultimate goal. Registration can be a fun time, and we hope that you sit down with your parents and look at all the different opportunities that we have for you here at Apple Valley High School. Our core curriculum is as solid as anywhere in the state of Minnesota, and we have elective opportunities that few schools have. Opportunities in our STEM lab, in our business department, with all our different world languages, you have opportunities here to find a curriculum that works for you and that will set you on a path to whatever you want to do after high school. In early January, the counselors, myself, and other Apple Valley staff members will be working with you to begin our pre-registration process here at Apple Valley. We'll work with you to start selecting your core classes, to give you ideas and suggestions for your electives, but also you'll have some time to go home, meet with your mom and dad, and discuss what classes do you want to take moving forward. To give you an idea of some of those classes, we're going to bring the counselors in today, and they're going to talk to you about our core classes and our electives. First, Let's introduce Ms. Gustafson, and she's going to talk to you about our opportunities in English language arts. Hi, my name is Mrs. Gustafson. I'm one of the school counselors here at Apple Valley High School. I'm going to be talking with you today about your English language arts selections that you'll be making for registration for next year. We are going to start talking about what you're going to select moving into 10th grade. As a 10th grader, your English language arts classes are going to be structured differently. Instead of taking English 9 all year long for language arts, you are going to take three separate trimester courses. You will take a class called Literature 10, a class called Composition 10, and then also a Speech class. You will take each of these for one trimester throughout the year. You have the option to take any of these courses at the honors level. For example, if you are a strong writing student and you want to take Composition 10 as an honors course, you can take that, but then take regular Lit 10 and regular speech. Same works if you want to do speech as an honors level because you are a strong public speaker. You must sign up, remember, for one trimester of each of these courses for 10th grade. We're going to look now at registration for 11th and 12th grade English language arts classes. Between 11th and 12th grade, you need to take six language arts classes. So between those two years, you need to take six credits. Typically, this is broken down into three credits in 11th grade and then three credits in 12th grade. Remember that for English language arts, you need to take 12 credits in total, which typically is four years of English language arts. Now, when we look at this screen, it outlines some of the options for English language arts. If you want to take English at an honors level, you can take AP Language and Composition in 11th grade. You also have the option to take AP Literature and Composition in 12th grade, and that will fulfill that requirement. If we look at the list for trimester courses, you can see there are a lot of options for language arts electives. You will be learning more about these courses in your current English course. Thank you, Ms. Gustafson. Whenever we talk about the English Language Arts Department, it reminds me that they have a wide variety of classes, and you'll find that in many of our core and elective areas. I think the best thing for you to remember as you take a look at your registration is finding that great variety. What are things you are interested? What are things that will push and challenge you as you keep a focus on not only graduation, but what do you want to do beyond high school? Next, let's take a look at our social studies classes. Hello, I'm Lisa Schmidt, one of the counselors at Apple Valley High School. I'm going to review the social study class options for the next academic school year. Tenth grade students have two options, United States History or Advanced Placement United States History. Tenth graders should note that this is your first opportunity to take an Advanced Placement class at Apple Valley High School. 
11th grade students have two options as well. World history or advanced placement, world history. 12th grade students have several options. However, it's important to remember that economics is required for graduation. You can take the one trimester economics class or the full year advanced placement economics course. Once you select your economics class, you may then choose criminology, psychology, or sociology. We also have full year social studies classes as well. Those would be advanced placement psychology, advanced placement government, or developmental psychology. Please note that developmental psychology is a two period class each day. If you have questions, now is a great time to talk to your current social studies teacher to figure out what options are best for you. As I think about social studies, I'm reminded that you should always talk to your current social studies teacher and ask them for advice and suggestions as to what you should do next. If you're taking on-level social studies but want to challenge yourself with an AP course, talk to your teacher. They'll be able to tell you what those courses might entail and if that's a good fit for you and your academic setting. Next, let's take a look at our math curriculum and all the options that are available to you. Ms. Perkins will be talking to you about the course options in mathematics. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Perkins and I'm here to talk with you about math course requirements here at Apple Valley High School. When selecting your math courses for next year, it is really important that you be in contact with your current math teacher. Many courses follow a sequence here at Apple Valley High School. So if you're a freshman this year and you're in intermediate algebra, you will generally register for geometry next year, algebra two as a junior, and then pre-calculus or college algebra probability and statistics as a senior. Here you will see which course you should register for next year. If you have any questions, please be in touch with your current math teacher, especially if you're thinking about changing levels for instance, from an honors to a regular class or from a regular to an honors class, or if you're thinking of doubling up in math courses for next year. Remember that in many of our math classes and in many of our electives, there are prerequisites as you advance into other classes. So make sure you check those out with your teachers or in our registration guide. Next, let's throw it over to Ms. Fogelin, and she's going to talk to us about our science options here at Apple Valley High School. Hey, I'm Ms. Foglin, and I'm one of the counselors here at Apple Valley High School. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about science and what to think about when you register for classes next year. In general, science classes go in a progression. So as a sophomore, there are two options for you to choose from, biology or honors biology. As a junior, most students take chemistry or honors chemistry. And as a senior, the majority of seniors will take physics or honors physics. For some students, the idea of doubling up in science and taking extra classes in the science department is a great option. There are a few ways to do this, with single trimester classes or adding a second full year science course, if there is room in your schedule. This is possible during 11th and 12th grades. Full year science electives include CIS Anatomy and Physiology, available as a junior or a senior, and AP Chemistry, only as a senior. There are numerous science electives that are only one trimester long. These classes cover many interesting topics, meteorology, astronomy, field geology, aquatic ecology, terrestrial ecology, and environmental studies. For graduation, students must earn nine science credits. Within those nine, the state requires students to take biology as well as a physical science, whether that be chemistry or physics. But with all our science options, that really should be no problem for students to do at all. If you have questions about what to take next year, whether it be what a certain class is about or which level of a class to take, make sure to talk to your science teacher. They'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, Ms. Fogelin. That gives us a good look at our core classes, Many of them are required for graduation. Remember, you want to get 50 credits in your core, and that will lead you on the path to either a two-year or four-year institution. But we have many other options that can do the same things for you. You do have some required credits that you will need in FIAD. So let's bring Ms. Perkins back, and she'll talk to us about our PE, health, wellness, and safety ed curriculums. Now we'll talk about physical education courses. Every student must earn seven credits in physical education and wellness in order to earn a diploma. Four of these courses will be PE courses, 
You will also take Wellness 1, Wellness 2, and Safety Education. If you have not completed Wellness 2, please register for that next year. Typically, sophomores take Wellness 2. Juniors and seniors will have the opportunity to take a variety of classes in the physical education arena. Please look at the course guide to see what your options might be. Thank you, Ms. Perkins, for that look at our PE curriculum. Let's look at our elective options that are available to you. Hi, I'm Mr. Perkins. We have a wide variety of elective options here at Apple Valley High School. As you make your selections for next year, please check the course guide to make sure that you meet any prerequisites and that the course is open to students in your grade. As you can see, you have a lot of elective choices and you can see all the different options we have in our core curriculum. If you want to look a little bit further at some descriptions of these courses, go to our website, click on the link, and you can examine each of these courses a little bit more in depth. Remember, in January, we will get together, myself, the counselors, you and your teachers, and we will start the registration process for the school year. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please stop by the counseling office, make an appointment to speak with your counselor, or stop by my office. I'll be happy to help you and guide you in this registration process. Have a great day, and go Eagles!